Yo, yo, what's up? What's going on? Um, back at it again. Um, New Breed Sports back at it again, baby. Let's get it. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank y'all for uh, um, appreciate y'all for uh, looking at looking at my videos in this one. Um, if it's one person, if it's a million per- people. Thanks for taking the time to look at it, man. I appreciate it. Um, trying to go to the top, man. Trying to go to the top. Trying to get into this sports field, brother. It would be nice. Get get a brother in the world with sports. Get him somewhere. Let him broadcast some sports. Let him talk about. Let him go to ESPN, man. Let him. Let me. Let me go on there. Let him show. Let him show this ugly face, man. But I'm cool. I represent the ugly people very nicely, my brother. <laughs> but anyway, man, let me let me um let me, I want to speak on uh the Kevin Durant situation. Um dude has held out the summer. A lot of us knew he was going to stay in Brooklyn. All this talk about him going to Celtics, Philly, Memphis, all these other teams, it just didn't happen. They came to an agreement. Ness was like, hey, dude, you got, we got four years and almost $200 million on you, bro. You're going to stay here. You're going to play with Kyrie and Ben Simmons. Y'all going to let this thing work. And then you might give Carmelo Anthony. I've even heard, I've, I've heard that uh, they're interested in Carmelo, which that'll really be something. But um, we'll see. Um, you know, they still got a, you know, but the whole situation, man, it was just childish from the beginning. And the more, it's just more and more, you just dislike this dude for the stuff that he does. Cause he does stuff that just doesn't make any sense. You, you just come, you just come to the point where you just like, look, man, you gotta be, you gotta be mature, man. All these Twitter wars and Instagram wars and this little beef you had with with uh Harden and and Stephen A. Smith and and all these other people like come on man it ain't even that deep it's not even that deep but how he did this man was real immature I mean this this is what kills me about NBA players you get all this money. And then you like, well, after a year or two, you just like, oh, I don't want to come here. I don't want to do this. I don't want see this is why you can't do can't guarantee contracts. You know what I'm saying? Cause of people like Josh Smith and other people that um even in baseball, Bobby Bo Nia is still getting paid by the Mets. And he hasn't played for them in a long time. So it's just like, what the hell, bruh? But um, KD played this like, come on, bro. We knew you was going back to Brooklyn. Now you gotta just don't nobody did nobody want to give up their young pieces. Nobody wanted to give up their young pieces. Who who wants to give up their young pieces? Memphis would have been dumb giving them Bain, Jaron Jackson, and like five or six picks. And so with the and, and even even the Donovan Mitchell thing. And the Knicks really want him. Now, here's my thing. Yeah, they may be, be better with him, with Brunson and stuff, but they both undersized guards. They're both 6'1". Brunson and Mitchell is the same size. They're both 6'1". So it's like, what can you do there? And then do you really want to give up your young pieces, the Toppins, the Quickleys, the Grimes, the Sims? R.J. Barrett, do you really want to get that up? Why would you? I, I I don't understand. I just don't get it. But KD man realized that nobody wanted to you know give up all they all that stuff for him. And then he's only he's thirty four years old, so he only got like maybe three, four, maybe five years left in him. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. But you don't want to give up your young talent. You don't want to be like the Lakers and give up your young talent for one title. 
and, it, and you could have built something there. So, well, what can you do? Um, but did nobody really want to give up all that? Knicks didn't even want to do that. All these teams. So he had to go back to Brooklyn. So it's, it's going to be interesting. Then what's going to be the real thing? What's going to be something is how that Brooklyn team and who they're going to have on that team. Because I think LaMarcus Aldridge is a, is a free agent. Blake is a free agent. Um, Bruce Brown is gone. Um, uh, think, I think Dr- Drummond left. Um, I don't know who really else is on their team. I'm not sure. I don't think the only – still got Cam Thomas – Still got Kessler, still got Nick Claxton. So it's like, what can you do? But it's an interesting team, man, because that East is deep right now, man. So it's going to be tough for them because they don't, they definitely don't want to play Boston, Milwaukee. They might get take care of Philly, but Milwaukee and Boston, nah, they ain't going to beat them. They not going to beat them. They definitely ain't going to beat uh, Milwaukee. That's just not going to happen. We saw what Boston did to them. They took them out four straight. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of team Brooklyn has and the how Ben Simmons is going to be because I heard he's still complaining about his back. Like, you ain't played all season, bro. Like, suck that shit up. You know, and Kyrie – who knows what kind of Kyrie you're gonna get? You gonna is you gonna get the Cleveland Kyrie? You gonna get the Boston Kyrie? Which, which one you gonna get? The pre the pre pandemic Kyrie? Which one you gonna get? And a lot of these guys are not gonna play a whole season. Not too many players are gonna play a whole season. These these superstars are not gonna play all eighty two games. Let's be real. KD ain't Kyrie ain't and definitely Ben Simmons ain't. So, come on now. Let's be real. But um, it's going to be interesting, man. These pre-Madonnas, excuse me. That's like, that, lets, that lets let you know, man, all these players is about the money, man. They, ain't, they don't care about these teams or playing hard or nothing like that. They care about the money. They're not going to do that. They're not going to care. Fans... Fans can sit here and say, oh, we pay your salary. Not necessarily. Y'all don't pay the salaries. These endorsements and all this stuff and that, they pay the salaries. Y'all pay these concession people and arena people and stuff. That's who y'all pay. So it took me a while to realize that myself. Shout out to my dude, Drew, who who put me on game on that. So y'all going to see me do some videos with him and P because we going to start this little three-man thing, dog. It's going to be crazy, bro. That shit going to be crazy. Y'all, look out for that, man. It's, whoo. Man, you if you thought we three kings was something, whoo. Us three, whoo, whoo. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to have some stuff on notice for sure. But, um, yeah, man, but the KD thing, man, it's just prima donnas, dog, and how he took hostage of the NBA. But we fell into it. So we just to blame as he is. And um, all these other free agents, there's still a lot of free agents that haven't been signed yet. But a lot of free, but the majority of free agency was around Kevin Durant, just like a few years ago with LeBron. And Carmelo and all them. It's just like, come on, man. Just sign with somebody so we ain't got to hear this. But it's cool, man. Um, we'll see how the Nets do. Uh, we'll see how the Knicks do. Uh, New York should be something else in sports and NBA. So um, looking forward to it, man. But um, tell me what y'all think about this KD and just the NBA and this whole free agency situation thing, man. I just want to know y'all thoughts. Um, let me know. Tell me what y'all think. Um, 
Till next time, man. I'm going to holler at y'all kings and queens later, man. Peace out.